We have often heard in news, read in our history books and overheard people talking that USA is one big superpower. When we talk about countries that are impossible to invade, the US always comes on top of that list. And of course that's true. Yes, the US is by far the toughest country to conquer. You might be thinking, why? Well, you need to be hooked to this video till the end to find out the answer to this because you are in for some amazing facts. Strong Allies Before we get to the actual business, let's give you a quick background of the US. The US is part of NATO, and for those who are unaware of what NATO is, it is the short form for North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and it serves as an alliance of nations from North America and Europe. The NATO has certainly extremely powerful nations such as UK, Germany, France and Turkey, along with 24 other member states. The most significant element regarding NATO that you must know and always remember is that if any of the nations in NATO come under an attack, it implies that all the nations are under attack. Now that's what you call unity, no? Anyway, moving on, this implies that all the nations are basically in a pack and this of course is a major dissuasion for any nation. For instance, consider that Russia is planning to invade Germany. Hypothetically speaking, this means that Russia is actually attacking all the 28 nations since they are united under NATO. Therefore, this serves as a huge deterrent for nations to never even think of invading these nations. It is important for you to know that the US has massive allies with Japan and South Korea, whose military comes under the top 10 militaries of the world so that this is another a massive support for the US. Military spending Did you know the fact that the USA pumps over $500 billion of funds into its military spending ability? We will give you a second to let you absorb that. This figure is not even close to the sum of the biggest nation's military spending combined. It is of no surprise that the military of the US is ranked as the number one military of the entire world. Whether you talk about the Army, Navy or the Air Force, the US surpasses each and every nation. From talented soldiers to the latest high-tech equipment, the US military is perfect in each and every aspect. So for any nation that is looking to invade the US, it needs to double-check whether it has a military strong enough to fight effectively in the beaches of Hawaii or the deserts of Utah or the icy hellscape of Alaska. We really can't think of any such nation, can you? Wait, the story does not end here. Geography Perhaps the biggest reason why the US can never be conquered is because of its unique and strategic geography. Firstly, the US is extremely far away from the nations that are likely to invade it and most of all, it is surrounded by two massive oceans. So if any enemy wants to attack the US, it has to cross through huge oceans. That holds true even today. Can you imagine the hassle of moving troops and equipment across these oceans? First, not only this is next to impossible, but also has a huge cost, specifically in terms of logistics. You should also know the US is a huge country. You should probably grab a world map to see how much area the US covers as compared to other nations. You'd be surprised to know that it is the third largest country in the world. But of course, like every country, the US also has certain vulnerable territories, such as Alaska, that is really near to Russia, in which makes it extremely vulnerable. The same is the case with Hawaii, which is basically an island state. However, with this being said, the US still has a strong defense to cater to these territories and ensure that the enemies do not even dare to come anywhere near. Also, when it comes to geographic feasibility, it is important to note that any type of invasion emerging from the outside of North America would need extremely long and strong supply chains across the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. If we consider the dynamics of today, we can't think of even one such nation-state that holds this much power capable enough to threaten the US on the North American continent. However, another reason linked to this is the fact that both Mexico as well as Canada have cordial relations with the US and both are weak in terms of military with respect to the US. For instance, if China or Russia even plans to invade the US, it would have to bribe or cause Mexico or Canada into allowing them to land to into their facilities and the probability of that happening is next to zero. And you already know why, correct? It's all about vested interests. Moreover, all port facilities of the United States are extremely strategically located. That is, they are very close to different American air as well as naval bases. So in case there is an attack, they can be easily defended and backed by strong security. 
Similarly, if we talk about the American East Coast, it is also really heavily defended since several military installations are spread out in the region from north to south. This East Coast also has the largest military shipyard of the US, which are of course so strongly safeguarded that it would be simply suicidal to even think of attacking them. Population The United States is home to over 330 million people. Yes, you heard that right. But what's more interesting is the fact that a huge segment of the US population has ownership of guns. To give you a rough estimate, around 7,200 million gun owners are residing in the US militia who hold around 360 million guns. Now that's mind-boggling, no? Did you know the fact that Americans have the permission to design and build their weapons in some states without even having the need to register? Wow! Now that's why probably there are more weapons than people living in the US. So all this basically implies that each American who has an arsenal can recruit and train their own band of Wolverines. Hands down US, it definitely is the king of superpowers. This also implies that the citizens can also form militias and strongly fight against any invading party. They can fight independently or alongside the military. And this is another reason why some nations are afraid to conquer the US because they know that being the military is another army waiting for them with a rifle. Economy Like every other nation's economy, the US economy also has a very critical role to play. If today or any time in the future the US economy crashes, this will have a direct impact on several other nations because the repercussions will extend beyond the US. This is because nations profit off with trading with the US and they make massive money out of it. Therefore, it would be completely useless to invade the US which is basically serving as their source of money. So, it is safe to say that a little selfishness on part of the other nations comes into play here that prohibits them from invading the US. Conclusion So, the next time someone mentions about the US being a superpower, we are sure that all this information will come running to you. It's like America has got the best of everything, whether you talk about military, geography, economy or its citizens, it surpasses every nation. No doubt that with all of these factors combined, it is referred to as the most secure nation of the world. Therefore, it's very much true that the US can strongly protect itself from any invasion and attack. Well, a country like the US does give its enemies a tough time and we are pretty sure, considering the current dynamics of today, no enemy would even dare to enter the US premises. However, we are yet to see how the future unfolds for the US and of course for its enemies. Check out more videos on the US in our US Travel Guide playlist. That's all for now, until next time.